What's going on YouTube family? It's Brock coming back at you with another video and today guys I'm rocking my Down East Wood Ducks jersey. Well this is not a jersey video as you can tell by the title and thumbnail but I just wanted to show you guys this. It's got this cool little like ironed on patch on the side. Fifth season for the Down East Wood Ducks. Now I'm not a Down East Wood Ducks fan by any means at all but I did the jersey, the game I did go to, they were doing a free jersey giveaway, so I was like, shit, why not? A free jersey to add to, add to the collection, but this is just a sneak peek of my jersey collection, which I will do a video on when I get enough jerseys to do. But from the title and thumbnail, today is my minor league uh, fitted hat collection. Now, it took me actually, I mean, I don't have that many. It took me about five minutes to order these from my favorite to least to my from my fav from my least favorite to my favorite. And you guys have seen all of these already. But first off, we're gonna go with this Richmond Flying Squirrels hat. You're probably thinking, Alex, you live in right outside of Richmond. Why is the Flying Squirrels hat your least favorite? Well, this is a custom one. This is not one that they were on field or have ever worn on field since they became a team in two thousand nine. Let me show you guys everything. So, there's the minor league logo. But yeah, I mean, I got a good deal on it. So I was like, fuck it. And I will eventually get all the Flying Squirrels hats, since they are a local team. But yeah, there's the Flying Squirrels one. That's my least favorite. My Now, number one on one, two, three. I have eight hair to, tell, to show you. Number... Seven on the list. Down Eastwood Ducks home hat. Home on field. Again, it goes with these jerseys right here. What do you guys think? Now there is a number on the back. Number two. I have no idea what significance that is. Other than the fact that they just threw a random number on there. But, yes. That is my second least favorite. Now, this one actually you guys haven't seen yet, unless you guys follow me on Snapchat. Uh, I recently went up to Bowie to see a Bowie Bay Sox game. They are the AA team for the Baltimore Orioles. So, of course, and they have white fronts, and you guys know I have a white front collection. So I picked up a hat there. Now, I will do a collection of all my white front hats once I get enough. I have most, mm, I only have three in this video, but I saw a couple more over there on the shelf. So yeah, uh, Bowie Bay Sox. There you go. Now, I was debating putting this one, I was debating these two, this next one. Uh, the Durham Bulls, uh, Home Blue. Uh, this is the one you guys see in the movie, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I was debating flipping these, because like this one's white front, obviously I like the white fronts more, but this one just has more nostalgia behind it, because it was like, this hat was fam is famous from a movie, a uh, pretty popular baseball movie actually, um, I'll show you guys what this one looks like on. So yeah, the movie Durham Bulls hat. Next is the supposed Winston-Salem dash uh sunday game hats was which was what i was told and i've already explained i think i explained this to you guys in the last video but they are these are their the winston Salem dashes uh sunday game hats but they didn't have enough to give out to the team this year when they have a whole shitload of them in the team store that they could have just given out but they didn't for some reason but and i actually found that out from a coach but again it's a white front so i had to Add it to the white front collection. Next, these are my last three, final three of my minor league hats so far. Uh, this, it is summer now, so I plan on doing a bunch of road trips soon uh, to different minor league stadiums in Virginia. So Virginia has four, actually. We have, I'm going to go from the bottom of the state up. We have the Norfolk Tides, the Baltimore Orioles AAA team, the Richmond Flying Squirrels, the San Francisco Giants double A team, uh, the Lynchburg Hillcats, the Cleveland Guardians, 
low A or high A, I don't know which, I don't remember which one, but they're low A or high A team, the Lynchburg Hillcats, and then the Fredericksburg Nationals would the Washington Nationals low A team. Now, I know I'm going to a Fred Nats game at some point this summer. That is already planned out with my dad. Um, so you better, you already know there's going to be a vlog there, obviously. But uh, yeah, let me get to the next hat for you guys. Durham Bulls white front. Guys, this is one of my most beautiful hats besides my All-Star Game hats. Like, this is one of the most beautiful on-field fitted hats I have seen. I don't know why. It, it's just so beautiful. I I wish I vlogged the other day because I had a perfect outfit with this. Oh my god, it went together so nice. But, uh, yeah. So we got the Durham Bulls white front. Next is another Winston-Salem dash hat. This one. Their old logo. You guys know I love it when the hats, the eyelets on the hat all have, are colored, so. And there's the Batterman. This hat I still have not worn yet, guys. I did I did take the sticker off it because on if you leave the sticker on, it'll create a dust ring, and that's a pain in the ass to get off. I had to get it off my 2018 All-Star Game hat, actually, because that hat is, was brand new. It had never been worn. Still with stickers on it since 2018, so that was a pain in the ass to get that off, but yeah, I actually have not worn this hat yet other than, like, out in public, I mean. I mean, it's because it's an all-white hat, main reason, but, I mean, I will eventually wear this in a vlog, I just don't know when. I mainly bought it because the all-white hats, to me, are beautiful. Well, let me turn this light off so you guys can get a better look at it. Okay, yeah, definitely not. Um, yeah, I just bought it because I love the logo. I love that how they added the baseball in there. But yeah, this is a sick hat. Now, probably, actually, uh, if you guys are interested in this hat, I'm not going to sell you mine, obviously, but they do still have a buttload of these for some reason even though this isn't their logo anymore, in the Winston-Salem Dash team store at the stadium. They also have the old away Winston-Salem logo, which was, again, the WS, but in a different font. And it had a purple bill, and then the white, where it's white on here, it was gray. And then it still had the eyelets. All the eyelets were purple. I didn't, I didn't have enough money to get that one at the time when I went there, but uh, so I just, I was like, I can only get two hats. So I went with the white front and then this one, obviously. But next time I go back to Winston-Salem, I'm definitely going to pick that up for the old logo collection because now I don't know if they're going to restock these. I know they don't have these on the Minor League Baseball website. They don't have these either. I've already looked. But, um, yeah, they, I know they don't have these. So I think the only pitch you can get them is at the team store in the stadium. So if you guys want one of these hats with this logo, I would go down to Winston-Salem ASAP before they sell out and cop one uh now this is probably now for the, my favorite one my favorite minor hat in my collection so far uh, i know you guys you guys have seen this one the kinston indians the reason this is my favorite is because this hat one day is going to be so rare because that indian's name is banned a lot less people have these hats than the Cleveland Indians hats. I, I can promise you that. But, yeah. It's just a standard red hat. And you guys are probably wondering, like, why the fuck is it my favorite? It's because of that logo and the name behind it. Now, these, they do not sell at all. I, they do sell these. They do have these on the Down East Blue Ducks uh, store page, page on the Minor League Baseball store. But they don't have these. These you can only get at the stadium. And if you don't have a, if you can't get a season pass holder to help you with your purchase, which I did with this, I only had to pay 18 bucks for this when it was 35. Uh, yeah, then you're gonna end up, have to end up paying the 35 bucks for it. But they have this one at the team store. Now th this one, you these the two that the one that I didn't get is the is a K for Kinston, uh, but in it's made out of the feathers. That one, next time I go back down there, that one I'm getting because these hats will be rare one day, especially in the fitteds. And uh, I'm just so happy I got this one when I could. 
it's beautiful. I love it. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. I know I've been doing a lot of sit-down videos, guys, and I am sorry for that. But trust me, it is summertime. The vlogs are coming really soon. Uh, and they're going to be so fun. Um, yeah, and I know I've, I've also been doing a lot of hat videos, but I mean, that's just my hobby. Also, I want to show you guys this one real quick. It's a fitted hat, Carolina Mudcats. As you can see, it's really dusty. And you can tell, that is definitely not my size. And I've, I've had this ever since I was in 7th grade. This is the 2016 4th of July hat for the Mudcats. I, should, I guess I could have thrown this one in there since it's a minor league team. But I only have this one on display because it's signed by the whole 2016 roster. And I need to actually get a case for this because look how dusty that bill is. That's bad. Um, but yeah, this is the 2016 4th of July hat. Uh, so yeah, uh, I probably put this... Well, I guess this doesn't really count because I can't wear it. One, because it's not my size, and two, I would never wear anything signed. That's, you have to be dumb to do that, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers, guys, and I know you guys can do it. Uh, you guys have been really good with the views lately, so just keep it up for me. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, uh, it's Brox. I'll catch you guys either in a vlog next or or for another sit-down video. Let's pray not another sit-down video is going to be next. Hopefully it'll be a vlog. Alright, peace.